Hello, 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 and welcome to the one and only Hood Tennis TV. Hello, all tennis players, lovers of tennis players, tennis lovers, lovers of tennis lovers, and tennis fans in general. Welcome to this special episode on Who Tennis TV. This is a special episode because we are going to appeal to everyone as we attempt to generate as much as we can in kind for a tennis foundation in Nigeria, Africa. Let's put this in perspective. Nigeria in the 70s and 80s was a place where young tennis talent could be harnessed. But today, all that is gone. The backing for any other sport apart from football is in serious jeopardy. There are no public courts in the country, except possibly there is a state-sponsored court which will be in the state sports stadium, usually in a deplorable state. Hence, no means to encourage local kids to play the game. The tennis foundation in question is Kodian Tennis Foundation, which we have talked a bit about in one of our previous broadcasts. This tennis foundation was started by a lady, Madame Stella Ipegu, in Portacot, Nigeria, with the aim to give less privileged kids the opportunity to play the game in an environment where access to the sport is almost non-existent for the everyday citizen. We all know that this game is not cheap, so providing a free academy where kids can learn the game in an environment like this was certainly not an easy venture. But with absolute resolve and determination, she has been able to obtain assistance from a few organizations, including Kiev's Global Nigeria Limited, City ROL Systems Limited, and Portacot Club 1928, where the tennis section agreed to assist by providing the use of the courts free for the kids to train and for events. The present captain of the tennis section Mr. Fidelis Kokodia, along with the present president of the club, Chief Dr. Damon to the West, are both very ardent and excellent tennis players and are very keen on doing what they can to help this tennis project. The kids so far from the academy have been a revelation as they have been doing very well at both local and national tournaments and events, like Joshua Maxwell, who this year won the River State Under 13 Junior Tournament, and Fortune Aniso, who won the NDDC Open Junior Tennis Tournament. These kids, who have come from very tough backgrounds, have been given an opportunity to acquire a lifelong skill and they have grabbed it with both hands. And due to an increased growing interest in the program from the locals, a board of volunteers was formed to manage the activities, logistics and finance behind the kids. Despite the assistance being given to these kids, a court to play on, and being part of tennis clinics, events and tournaments, they do lack basic equipment in rackets, strings, tops, shirts, shorts, grips, wristbands, socks, shoes, hats, bags, etc. These are the items we are appealing to everyone who enjoys the game and would like to give something to put a smile on these kids' faces when they play. No item is too small. We will package all this and Hood Tennis TV will travel to meet these kids and deliver everything you have sent 
and also bring you that footage. If you feel you don't have anything to give, you can quickly buy a tennis item online and send it to us. Kindly send your items to Who Tennis TV using the address below. We will be absolutely appreciative of your kind gesture. Please, please, friends and fans, whatever you give is never too small. These kids will be very, very grateful. Keep playing tennis, keep having fun, but don't forget, subscribe to Who Tennis TV. Thanks and enjoy the rest of the day. Who TV signing out.